So, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to make sure that the port is not already open. To do this, we can go into our server, and as you can see here, I'm already logged in as root at Ubuntu. Um, so we can go ahead and type sudo lslf space itcp dash stcp colon listen and pass p. As you can see here, none of the numbers after the colon is the 443 we're looking for. This means that the port has not been opened on this system. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to open up the port on the machine, we can do in one of two ways. First, we can use the very commonly and well-established software called IP tables, or we can use the more simple, less used framework called Uncomplicated Firewall, or UFW for short. In this video, I'll be going with IP tables. So in order to open the port with IP tables, we can type as following IP tables dash a input sorry dash p tcp dash m tcp double dash d port 443 dash j and pass in accept this should open the port using ip tables As we enter the second input, you'll notice we don't get any feedback from the console. This is typically a good indication with Linux as it means nothing went wrong. As a second step, we'll need to save the IP tables configuration and then restart the service. If you're on Ubuntu or any version of Linux that comes pre-installed with UFW, we might not immediately be able to do this. So let's check. In order to save this service, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type service IP tables save. So as you can see, this comes back as an unrecognized service. This means we most, most likely have UFW installed. So let's check that. In this case, it does seem we have the UFW service installed and running. As you can see, the uncomplicated firewall service is running on this machine, so we'll need to stop it. The way we can do that is to type service UFW stop. This should shut the service down. We can check to make sure by typing service UFW status once more. As it indicates inactive slash dead here, it's no longer running. The next thing we can do to stop it from restarting itself with the server is to type sudo ufw disable. Now uncomplicated firewall will no longer reboot and start automatically with the server. From here we can proceed with the regular IP tables way of opening up the port. If you're still seeing an error with typing service IP table save, it might be because you're on a version of Linux that doesn't take this input. So what we can do instead is we can type sudo sbin IP tables save. This should save the configuration. And as you can see here, it now has an accept rule for the port of 443. The last thing we want to do is make sure that the service is running with this new configuration. We can do that by typing the exact same thing, but instead of saving, we're going to do... Oh. Once we have confirmed that we have this input and everything is working, we can check if the port is now open. Nah, that's not what I wanted. In order to confirm that our port has actually been opened and the rule has been appended to the IP tables configuration, we can type IP tables dash L. This will present a list of rules with the policy, policy
policy input, forward, and output, and all the policies that have a status of accept. As you can see here, we do have a rule now appended to the list that accepts HTTPS traffic, which is the, as discussed earlier, the protocol for running with port 443. So as we can now conclude, we have opened the port 443 and this server will now accept incoming traffic on, and on the HTTPS protocol. Thanks for watching.